Okay, I'm here with uh, Litchfield City Manager, Ivor Green, and uh, I'm here with Ivor to talk about uh, Carl Patterson and his uh, fantastic career here at Litchfield City. Uh, but before I go and uh, speak to you, Ivor, I think we should go back and listen to uh, my interview I did with uh, Kyle uh, back in pre-season about his career at Litchfield. I'm here with uh, Litchfield City captain, uh, Carl Patterson, and uh, Kyle. Uh, you, you've been here a few years now. Yeah, um, but, been a while. Yeah, I mean, take me back right to the beginning of uh, your Litchfield City career. What, how, how did you come to the club? It was a strange one, really, because uh, I'd kind of stopped playing football at this level uh, a few years previous, and um, I was just playing Sundays, and uh, there was a lad who had a, a, a connection with Jamie, um, Jay Hawkins. Jay Hawkins. <laughs> Jay Hawkins. Uh, he's going to kill me. Um, and he knew Jay Hawkins, and he and um, he told, told him about him. And Jay just said, "Come down pre-season, have a look." And I, I put it off for a while, to be honest, a few weeks. And I just thought, I'm not really, I can't really bother to go back to the Saturdays. I was quite happy just having a Sunday morning stroll. And I was probably touching on 32 then. Um, but I ended up coming down. Got lost the first time I came down here. Uh, ended up in this. In the in the estate over there, um, came and had a session, and um, yeah, I just enjoyed it. And I think at the time, I think Danny T was here and Shep and a good bunch of lads. Uh, Righty, Jenko was here. Obviously, Luke, Luke Charles was here as well, and it was step it was step six. So we had you know we played some in you know, Leicester Road in the league and Addiston and Brockton, and um, yeah, we had a decent team. Um, and I just enjoyed it and from there I've just kind of tried to keep going as, as long as I can. Really. Yeah, I mean, I mean you've done the rounds, I mean I, I went on your Wikipedia page to be honest and uh, <laughs> looked down the list of clubs and, and you've never seemed to stop anywhere longer than a season. Yeah. Um, so what is it about Lichfield City? Um, I mean the proximity was good uh, and the, I think I um, got to a stage with football where um, and it was a career, and it was, and it, but it wasn't a stable career. It wasn't reliable. It was year-to-year -year contracts, and that's why I think when I was at, like I said, Tamworth and Worcester, it was all, um, it was all I had really, um, and uh, and I just, I just kept chasing the next move, and I, I got to a point where it just, it did become a bit of a job, and I never really found a, a home. And once I kind of started my career, um, this became football pen more of a hobby more of just somewhere where I enjoyed to be um, instead of somewhere where I had to maybe prove myself and, and earn a living from really. Uh, and that's probably why I've stayed here for so long and that's why I've probably settled so well because uh, uh, you know it isn't the be all and end all for me you know. I mean you ask anyone when, when that whistle goes on a Saturday I'm like, of course I want to win but mm. I also know that there's, um, there's more priorities in life and, uh, and, and I, I can hand on my heart say I've enjoyed my football more here probably in the last four or five years than I have anywhere else to be honest. Yeah and, and, and obviously starting here at step six and, and now moving up to uh, step five uh, I mean I mean that must be enjoyable as well the uh, the promotion yeah. obviously winning the uh, cup final I mean how yeah. did that feel? Yeah it was really you know it was really really a proud moment and um, um, yeah I mean people can look at it and say oh, it's only step six step five you you know you won the JW Cup but you know the lads have put a lot of hard work in and the, and, and the people behind the scenes have put a lot of hard work in and it is massive for us and a massive achievement for us and like you say the promotion was was great and just the progression just overall in the whole club i mean when i first came here that away changing room was that home changing room and it was yeah it was a it was a squeeze and yeah. um and now you look at it and it's it's a very modern modern change room very open um the, the things that are doing on the, in the club the, the fans, the, the supporters we've got, we've got a, a little ultras following now, a bunch of kids who are coming with their drums and, you know, if you told me that five years ago, it would have been, I thought we were, we were way off. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's nice to be part of something from the start and um, and I'm really excited for, for what's to come. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're sitting in one of the new stands now and at and, and that far end, uh, we, we, you know, there's a, a little... Uh, shelter up there as well yeah. uh, so I mean I mean from y your time here I mean the progress you know the improvements around the ground have been huge yeah. haven't they yeah they have I mean they've been massive 
they have been massive and they've got your, your own little stand over there for you books as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Now they're always developing there and they always are looking for the next the next thing and I think that, that definitely aligns with what I want to do. You know, like I said it is a hobby but I also do want to be involved in something that is moving forward um, and looking for that the next step and that's what I try and do each season. That's why I try and encourage you the lads and and the management team do the same, and it is those, you know, every season you have to try and improve, you know, uh, whether it's, and, it, and it has to be everyone involved in the club. So, yeah, I think everything, everyone's moving in the right direction at the moment. Yeah, and, and there's a really nice blend of, of youth and experience here. I mean, you, you the, the likes of Dom Lewis have come in, and yeah. uh, you have to forgive me, Josh, but I'm not sure of your surname, but young Josh as well from the academy. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's the sort of uh, you can help these lads uh, yeah. progress. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's exciting because that's the next stage, isn't it? When you get to a certain age, you, you want to be able to pass pass on what you've what you've learned and. Um, and it's just nice to have lads who want to listen as well. You know, young lads now they do get a little bit of flack um, on their attitude, but those two lads who have come in and, and the other young lads who have come in have been spot on from day one. Um, and I just think it speaks volumes that uh, you know the lads have been together just as a, as a group as well. You know, we've got some lads here. I mean, me and Luke have been here the longest, but we've got lads here been here three, you know, three four seasons as well. And, um, that doesn't very rarely happen at this level. You can go around a lot of the, lot of the teams, and there's a lot of changes each season. Um, but you know, there's a core group here, of maybe eight, nine players who've been here, gone, gone through the promotion at step six, and, and stayed and, and gone through each stage. So, yeah, it's an, it's an, it's a, and it's a good place for young kids to come and come and develop because of that as well. Mm. Kyle, thank you very much, and all the best uh, for next season. Yeah, nice one. Hey, Ivor. Well, uh, Carl Patterson. What a guy. Yeah, what a player, what a player, and a man. Um, yeah, he's obviously been struggling with his injuries recently and has, uh, has decided to take a, a break. It, it, it could be the end for him. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's carrying injuries that he just he can't recover anymore like he used to, but to be fair to him, that's the type of player he is. It's, you know, if, he was, if he was a player that just strolled around and you know, played in a certain position where he could just sit through a game and take it easy then, he wouldn't be so bad, but he's not. You know what he's like. He's, he's full of it. Um, so yeah, pretty gutted to be honest. He's uh, he's a big hole just to, to, to fill there because since I've been at this club, what a blow! When I when I first took the job, he was the first player that I went and spoke to. You know, we had a long chat. He was captain at the club, and um, just what a guy. You know, when you leave someone and think, wow, he's you know, I mean, he's been up there and done it. And to be honest with you, I was nervous about managing the guy when you look at what he's done in his career. But um, what a what a what a professional bloke, you know, what a real character. Just everything about him, the way he conducts himself, carried himself, and he's been massive to this by the way. You know, you look at where Litchfield are today and you know that little bit of progression, he's played a huge, huge part in that. He really has. The way he's carried players. Um, you know, we come to training sessions. I never have to worry uh, when Carl's there because you won't get nobody dragging your real spots easy around. Um, yeah, real professional guy, fantastic footballer, fantastic man, um, and done an incredible job for Litchfield City, on and off the pitch, I have to say, on and off the pitch. Uh, and I'm pretty gutted, to be honest. It's uh, it's quite emotional, really, because obviously football's football and it's a bit of fun to us, but you know, when you look into it deeply, you look at a guy like that and think, wow, you know, the career he's had, and then all of a sudden you stop doing something that you love and have done your, most of your life. Um, so it has an effect on you, so yeah, pretty gutted, but... You know, he's, he, he can be proud and can celebrate a great career because he's had better than most for sure. Yeah, I mean, he, he's um, he's a he's seventh highest uh, appearance uh, holder here at Litchfield uh, since I've been doing the uh, stats anyway. Um, and 128 games, 27 goals. Uh, this is his fifth season, so he's been here five seasons. Um, and, and also, I mean, the, the guy's been extremely loyal because he had offers, didn't he? That them first couple of years, he had offers to go higher. And, and decided, you know, he was enjoying his football here and decided to stay here. He could have moved on umpteen times and, and higher, no doubt about that. No, his loyalty's been been incredible, honestly. Um, and like I say, it's that professionalism that, 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 that it rubs off. You know, you've got a young squad here, a lot of young players, and, you know, they, they, if, listen, if, if these young lads want to kick on and move on, there's your example. Just, just you look at everything he does, the way he prepares himself, carries himself. Before, during, and after games, you know, his, his warm downs, everything he does is just to the max professional. So, uh, yeah, been brilliant. And obviously, like you say, in, in my time at the club, 
there's only him and Luke Childs um, that we've got left that were the originals. Um, he stood by us. He really has stood by us as well, and he's been brilliant, brilliant, big, 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 big old thing. Yeah. Well, that's brilliant. So we are uh, go and have a look at some of his goals now. Once again. Oh, well done by Jordan Evans. Brilliant. But, uh, held up by Olcott and his far as Patterson. Oh, what a lovely strike. Uh, Evans again. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, turns and shoots, and that's a great save from Highland. But Patterson is there to follow up for Litchfield City second, and his as well. Josh Mansell. Guard. Oh, nice. Can Patterson get there? Oh, he might be able to. Oh, yes. And uh, Patterson with a lovely finish. Can it come to Lomas? It does. Edwards. Oh, good touch. Patterson. Oh, what a crawl. What a brilliant finish from Carl Patterson. Carl O'Neill. Oh, it's uh, Patterson. It's 2 now. And uh, I haven't nearly missed it actually, but it was. Uh, I think it, a mix up between Roe and uh, Carl O'Neill. And uh, oh dear, oh dear. But a good start to the second half for Litchfield City. Balls uh, come in. Herdman. Oh, over low mass. Now it's uh, Luke Childs. Come on! Childs. Oh, it's a good turn. Plays it good wide. Job. Ball comes across. It's uh, Keane. Oh, and it's in from Patterson, and it's now two all. Lomas. Brilliant. Now it's uh, Luke Charles in a bit of space. Oh, nice. Oh, it's Patterson. Oh, it's a wonderful finish from Carl Patterson. And Liverpool City double the lead. There's uh, Max Blair. Brooks. Greg Peter Till. Oh, good ball. It's uh, Patterson. It's a great goal. And it's now 1 1. Okay, so good clearance. Oh, Jenko does really well there. And it's a good clearance from Black. And it's over. And it's Patterson. Can he get his second of the game? Oh, it's quality. Absolutely. Into a Patterson. And it's got good beat. Low mass Patterson. Good football from Litchfield. Good beat again. Shooting opportunity, Patterson. Oh, yes. And Carl Patterson has equalised for Litchfield. Okay, so Jordan Hunt. Into a OB. Peter Till. That's uh, the Nigerian Pelly. Oh, good turn. Good ball in. Oh, and Patterson gets a goal back. And uh, it's now 2 1. Oh, Patterson, but he's good. Great ball, Edwards. What a lovely ball, Patterson! And it's 2 all. Lovely goal. Great ball from uh, Jonathan Gould. Super cross from Jack Edwards. And Patterson with the header in the corner, giving Ginge no chance at all. Jones heads it on. Are you fucking serious? Now it's got good beat. Thomas. Looking for a uh, Blanchett, but Bennett cuts it out. Patterson gets onto the loose ball. Oh, Patterson still. Yeah. And it's Kyle Patterson who scores Litchfield City's first goal at step five. Now it's uh, Max Black. And it's uh, Ryan Brooks is in. Can he chip the keeper? Oh, he's tried to. Patterson. Oh, Patterson still. Oh, yes. And it's 3 0. <laughs> and uh, Patterson gets his second. Ryan Brooks with an assist. Okay, Galay uh, throwing. Here's uh, Patterson. Good ball, Childs. Obi. Patterson. 
Ah, uh, midfield gets a goal back straight. Looking for Giassi, but Kamara clears. Here's Haynes. Oh, it's a good ball, and it's a Carl Patterson. And it's in, and Patterson, with his sixth goal of the season, gives Litchfield City an early lead. And uh, Tom Allsop. Oh, it's Brown. And now it's uh, Brown. Still Brown. Patterson, it's 4 0. And. Uh, Good play by uh, Tom Brown, driving forward, and uh, Patterson gets the tap in, and it's now four. And that was uh, abandoned. It's going to be uh, Haynes with it. Oh, it's a good header! Yeah. And Kyle Patterson has given Litchfield City the lead. And first bit of... And uh, can Litchfield double this lead? Oh. Not with a ball like that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Hunt. Puts it straight back in. Oh, no, cleared by Duffy. Now it's Patterson. Oh, yes. 2 0. Carl Patterson. Uh, Brian Brooks' is, uh, heels. Patterson does well. Gardner. Oh, brilliant by Gardner. Still. Still. Oh, Patterson gets his second of the game and it's 4 0. Brilliant. Good ball into uh, Bailey, but Lomas does well. Good beat. Now it's uh, Max Dixon. Oh, it's a good effort. Good save by Bradbury. Patterson and it's 2 1 to Litchfield. Brilliant work from Dixon. And Patterson anticipated well. Here's uh, Patterson. Oh, he's done well. Oh, it's in. And uh, Carl Patterson has given Litchfield City the lead. Lovely turn and finish uh, for Mantle throwing. No low mass. Charlie Shaw. Still Shaw. Can he get it to Black? Black gets it in. And it's Patterson. Yes, he's gone in. Kyle Patterson has equalised for Litchfield City. Super Now it's uh, Patterson. Out to uh, Ryan Brooks. Good ball. It's uh, Lomas. Oh, nice. It's Patterson. Surely. And it's 2 0. What a lovely play from Lomas and Patterson. Ryan Brooks did superbly well in the move as well. And we've uh, Litchfield City legend Luke Child. 160 appearances. And uh, 30 goals for you, Luke. Um, but uh, Carl Patterson, one of the best players you've played with at Litchfield? Yeah, definitely. Two right. Club legend as well. Not just me. Skip as well. <laughs> it's not Kyle to us, he's Skip. But yeah, one of the best players I've played with, definitely. Yeah, what, what were his uh, attributes uh, on the pitch? Everything. He's got everything about him touch, finesse, just everything apart. It's got, he's actually got that bit of pace as well, I suppose. Yeah. Even with his age, but yeah, just everything about him, class, proper class. Yeah, his, his leadership quality is obviously uh, massive uh, on over on the off. last few years. On and off the pitch, yeah, definitely. Leader off the pitch just as well as on, a, on it. Can't beat him, there's nobody around like Skip. <laughs> Luke, thanks a lot, mate. You're welcome. Here he is, look. Litchfield City's greatest ever player. Love yeah, and uh, uh, just uh, a few words about uh, Carl Patterson. Yeah, well, um, what, what was he like to play with? Top, top draw, angry man, but also a nice man. Didn't start too great, me and Pat. Have, yeah, um, but yeah, unbelievable uh, to keep going at thirty sevens. Yeah, different. I don't, I don't think. I mind, mind you, you did. Uh, you did just leave, didn't but you? The man? big thing was though, because I've, <laughs> I've won him my class trophy too. So. Yeah. And uh, it's my uh, claim to fame with Bex too. Yeah. You know, so I haven't played with anyone that's played with Bex, but he's my first and last. So. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 he, what about his leadership qualities oh, on and off the pitch? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, the young lads. Unbelievable, the man in standards, even on himself. Um, just unbelievable to have in the dressing room, really. Just the whole aura from from the minute you come here to the minute you leave. He's, he's, he's top draw. He's probably not played under a better captain. Yeah, um, and, and how... He's played at good level, and he, and he carries himself even... 
a step five at that, that sort of level. So, yeah, brilliant bloke. And, yeah, and oh, maybe, yes. you know, you never know. He could do an OB and make the odd appearance oh, mate, back. He's not done. He's not done. I was <laughs> texting him the other day. Never, never six months out. <laughs> pulling his, sorry, he's, uh, he's got no air left, but he'll be pulling something out and then he's, he's, he's back playing, mate, because he can't see it. Oh, there's that chance. <laughs> Missy won't let him, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, all the best in the time, mate. All the best. Yeah. Cheers, Joe.